Uh, OMB puts out an annual pay-as-you-go act report. Uh, the, this, this report clearly shows that last year's reconciliation bill added $199 billion in deficits to the budget scorecard OMB is required to maintain. Uh, since uh, the majority party have tried to claim phony tax gap savings from the law's uh, IRS funding last year, but when legally required to produce an accurate cost estimate, even this administration was forced to admit the bill increases deficits, and so I'm asking you to put that report in the record. Without objection. Okay. Uh, the president and this budget's supporting documents continue to falsely claim that he is a deficit reducer. Nobody believes that. People know about the trillions spent in spending binge last Congress and the costly administrative actions. CBO's current law baseline when compared to February 2021 baseline when President Biden took office shows increased deficits of $6 trillion over 20, uh, 30, uh, 21 to 31, and you can see it here. So uh, it seems to me the administration misleads the American people on real deficit reduction. Your response to that? Senator Grassley, CBO's job is to show the path on deficits uh, as if no policies happen. The president uh, has policies. His policies would bring down the deficit by $3 trillion. It, CBO has not looked at the president's policies yet. They will do that later this summer. Uh, so CBO gave you a baseline. That assumes none of this happens. Uh, and that is why the president is putting these policies forward, because we do believe staying on current, cu current course uh, is not sustainable. Uh, you can see from the chart that, uh, that the deficit actually goes up, and I'll just leave that where it is. What is the primary driver of our long-term deficit problem? So deficits, as you know, are year over year. So if you don't want to make the longer-term debt problem worse, uh, you got to deal with uh, yearly deficits. Uh, that's why this president's put forward policies that would say over the 10-year period, deficits come down $3 trillion. Uh, so as some doctor says, do, do no more harm. Uh, so we have got to get our uh, deficits under control, and that in return has uh, impacts uh, on our debt. Uh, but as you know, most of our spending in this country uh, are in uh, entitlements, uh, the aging of our country, um, and that, that is typically what makes up uh, at least half of, of federal expenditures in a year. So it's, uh, you don't include climate change in that a list of things that the budget is going up. Is that right? So as I exchange with the chairman, we have got to do a better job of incorporating climate change into our economic forecast and into our budget. That, that is a, a deficit we have. Families in Iowa and across the nation are feeling the pinch of inflation that is caused by the reckless spending that I've already referred to. Uh, this administration has repeatedly try to downplay country's inflation crisis. Uh, why did the administration first budget predict inflation would be in 2021? Let me answer that for you because I think that uh, it, it was going to be 2% uh, but it ended up being 6.7 and then for 2022, 2.9 uh, but the actual inflation was 7.1. So this administration has dramatically missed inflation for two years in a row. So why should we believe that you will say inflation is going to be 3% this year? Uh, Senator Grassley, as you know, the Fed has tools that they are using. Um, and what we see is the administration's policies, uh, what the, the Fed is doing, uh, we are seeing an impact here on inflation. The, we are clear, inflation is too high. American families are paying too much, and we have to keep our foot on the pedal to bring down costs. What we have seen is a moderation in inflation on a yearly basis. Total CPI is down more than 3 percent, uh, 3 percentage points from its most recent peak of 9.1 percent in 2022. 
So we have to keep, uh, keep our eye on bringing down costs. I'll point out that this budget has lots of policies uh, that bring down health care costs, energy costs uh, for families. Those are kitchen table issues that most families tell you they're paying too much for. That's why we put these policies forward.